What's up everybody, Pumpkin here. So, they started releasing cards. Uh, they did the 20 cards in the dev stream and now they're starting to do six cards a day. So, uh, hopefully I can keep up with these and start doing one a day with these six reveals. Um, yeah, let's hop right into it. Uh, so first card, uh, this card six provisions. It is a uh, bronze card. Spawn and summon two fire sworn zealots on the allied row. If you have zero coins, spawn three instead. So. The idea of this card is you always want to play it with zero coins. If you're playing this card with any amount of coins, it sucks, right? Uh, if you're spawning uh, two twos for six provisions, that's terrible. So you, you have to be hitting all three. Uh, and this condition is pretty easy to meet in round one. Um, you're going to start the game with zero coins. If you have this in your opening hand, you play it. Pretty straightforward. Um, do keep in mind coins do carry over. So let's say you have three coins in round one uh, and you pass and you go into round two. You're going to have one coin carryover, which means, well, you can't turn one this. So you have to spend your other coins first before playing this card. Um, that's, you're going to have to keep that in mind. Uh, granted, there are a good amount of ways to spend coins. So as, as long as you're paying attention to your, your coin count and your cards in hand, uh, it, it shouldn't be an issue. Now, how good is this card? Um, six for six. It's not bad. Uh, it's comparable to like a Swallow Potion or uh, Froth, except... Neither of the both of those require units. Uh, Swallow Potion plays into a tall unit. Uh, Froth needs three units. This card needs none of that. Um, and as we'll get to another card in the future, um, Swarm Syndicate's going to be very good. Uh, and this card definitely, definitely helps that archetype. So uh, this is going to be auto included in any Swarm deck. Outside of Swarm decks, if you need a six provision card and you can't find any, you'll probably throw this in because it's just good it's not bad uh the only scenario i see where you would not just throw this in if you have like six piece slots open is in a gimpy meta uh or a last straight meta granted i'm really really hoping gimpy gets some kind of change otherwise a fire sworn deck just loses on the spot to gimpy because all the summon tokens are the same you just lose the game it's like a last straight on both of your rows so i'm kind of hoping gimpy gets changed will he get changed I have no idea, so uh, we'll hope for the best. But uh, yeah, this is a very good card in the Swarm auto-include. Outside of Swarm, uh, it, it will see some play. Next card we have, this is another upcoming dual card. It's a dual card with Northern Realms. It's four provisions, two strength. Uh, deploy melee boost three adjacent allies by one. Um, so it's not a three adjacent allies to this card because, well, that doesn't really make sense. Uh, think of Golden Froth, where you select one unit and then it boosts the left and the right. Same thing with this. So let's say you have two units on the row. If you play this to the right of the two units, you can then uh, select the unit to the left of this card, uh, and then you'll boost all three. So I'm assuming that's how that works because that well, it makes sense. Um, how good is this card? Well, off the bat, it's a five for four, which eh, it's on par with other four provision cards. The difference between this and I don't know, Cutthroat or any of the other, uh, the other, the, the one that gives Vitality, Scholar, uh, is this card's conditional, right? You have to have two other units on the row, uh, melee row at that, right? If you don't have two other, well, I guess they don't have to be two on the melee row, but uh, you would have to have three on the range row, right? Because this wouldn't count as one of the units on the uh, range row. So yeah, you, you need minimum two other units on the row for this to work. Um, so in a Syndicate deck, yeah, in a Swarm deck, you're going to be swarming, so you probably have the units on the board for this. Uh, so you could, on average, get 5 for 4, but why, why take that risk? Like, in a short round, it might not be very good. You might not have the units. Your, uh, your opponent might clear the units. It's just not worth taking that risk. The upside isn't there. So in a Syndicate deck, I don't think this card will see any play. Unless there's some new cards that's coming out where it can utilize boost, like Tritum Infantry or something like that. Uh, however, in Northern Realms, uh, I do think this card will see a tiny bit of play. Um, in a Meave boost and our deck where the goal is to boost everything, uh, I'm not going to have the names because I always forget the name. I think one of them is Visigard. Uh, Visigard, it's like eight provisions, five strength. Uh, it gains a charge, which is one damage for every boosted unit you have on the board. So obviously this card works with it. Uh, it obviously works with Tritum Infantry. It works with Anna. Uh, and it works with the four provision, two strength card that gets plus one for every boosted unit on your board. So um, 
If you are playing some kind of boost deck where having more boosted units on the board means your other cards are stronger, then yeah, you throw this card in. It's good. Um, so outside of that very specific deck, I don't think this card will see much play just because it's a conditional 5 for 4 uh, in a land where we have non-conditional 5 for 4. So yeah, uh, the upside really is only there for Northern Realm. So eh, kind of, a uh, yeah, it's not going to see much play outside of that one particular deck. Moving on, we have another Syndicate card. Um, this is another type of card that's going to work well with a Swarm deck. Uh, it is two strength, five provisions, damage an enemy unit by two, death blow spawn, and summon a fire sworn zealot on the row. Um, how good is this? Uh, if you compare it to SK's variant of it, which is deal two damage, spawn a five. Um, that's seven for five. This is a six for five, which is not as good, obviously. Um, things you have to consider. This has synergy with cards, right? So uh, the portal card that we're going to get to uh, in a few cards uh, we'll make it more clear as to why spawning things is going to be very strong, uh, for Syndicate. The, the other thing is what you have to remember is SK has access to pinging cards, right? So you have Croc as a leader or you have light long strip. So typically you can find a three and ping it down to two to set up for your death blow. Whereas Syndicate, at least from what we've seen outside of the bounty card, you don't have too many of those. Um, granted, this could change in the future uh, with more cards being revealed. Um, but the effect... Okay. I can see this p seeing play in exactly a Swarm Syndicate deck. Outside of the exact Swarm list, I don't think this card will see any play. It's just not worth it. No reason to take the risk. I, I, the only way I see this card seeing play outside of a Swarm Syndicate list is the other five provision cards are terrible. Uh, but I highly doubt that's going to be the case. So, yeah, kind of a mediocre card outside of a Swarm deck. But in a Swarm deck, it's good enough because uh, it, it does spawn uh, more Fire Sworn Zealots. Moving on, we have another card that spawns. Uh, this card's four provisions, two strength, profit two. So you immediately get two coins when you play this card. Uh, feed two, spawn, and summon a Fire Sworn Zealot on the row. Cooldown one. So uh, unlike other fee mechanics that we've seen before, uh, this does have a cooldown. So... Fee, typically, you can just keep spamming fee as long as you have the coins to uh, pay for the expense. But if you have a cooldown one, well, you kind of have to wait turns, right? So when you play this, you can immediately uh, spawn the Fire Sworn Zealot, and then you have to wait a turn for another. Um, would you play this card? Well, you definitely won't play this card outside of a Swarm deck, because outside of a Swarm deck, it's a 4 for 4, which is terrible, because... There are five for fours. So outside of a Swarm deck, you're not going to play this card. In a Swarm deck, eh, there's probably better 4P cards to play. Um, you have to really, really want to be spawning as many. Like, if the goal of the Swarm deck is completely to 100% all in, summon as many of these as you possibly can, then yeah, I guess you play it because the more the merrier, right? So... Yeah, I once again, this is another card where the only consideration for this card is exactly a Swarm deck. Will it make the cut for a Swarm deck? Uh, it's kind of too early to tell. We kind of need to see all the cards before we can make that decision. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. Um, yeah, moving along. This is the card that we've been talking about. Uh, this is an artifact for Syndicate. Uh, this is the bread and butter, at least for now, for Swarm. Right, deploy, spawn a fire uh, sworn zealot on both sides of this card. Whenever you spawn a unit, boost it by one. Um, the person who revealed this card said that the two zealots that get spawned uh, to the left and to the right of this card do get the boost. Um, I don't know if that's correct or true. I, I, I have no idea. So either they're going to come out as two twos or two threes. I, I don't know. Um, either way, the idea is you play this card really early into a round, and then every time you spawn a fire sworn zealot, it gets boosted by one. Um, so all the previous cards that we've shown before, um, they, they work really well with this mechanic. Um, and it's not even just when you spawn a Fire Sworn Zealot. It's whenever you spawn any unit. So the card that comes to mind is Jermaine. Jermaine spawns four cows. Jermaine's typically an eight for 12. It's okay because of like Zoltan or like Slave Infantry. But if you're getting plus one per cow... It becomes a 12 for 12 
and it puts five bodies on the board. Is that good? <laughs> That's really good. Um, especially if you're playing a swarm deck, my guess is you're going to want to abuse uh, multiple units on a row. So you're looking at cards like uh, Zoltan, boosting an entire row by plus two, or Yennefer, boosting the entire board by plus two. So the more units you can put on the board, the better. So I can imagine Jermaine would work well in the deck, and this card helps. So yes, I, I think swarm syndicate will be good i mean we're getting the tools we're getting the big swing cards we're getting ways to spawn units uh at this point the only thing that i'm a little scared about uh from a, a swarm standpoint is gimpy uh if you play this deck and you go like 10 card round three and you spawn a ton of these things and you get like 10 of them on the board or something like 12 on the on the board your opponent plays gimpy you lose on the spot. The game just ends. It's just it's just over. Uh, it's it's like a thirty point give me. It's just game over. Uh, there's no coming back from that. It's like a last raid except to both rows. Um, yeah, I I really hope something happens to Gimpy. We'll see. But uh, Gimpy aside, this card's very good uh, in a swarm deck. You're you're gonna play the card because it just makes all your other swarming cards better, right? The card that spawns uh, three two drops. Now it's spawning three three drops. So instead of it being six provisions for six, you get six provisions and you get nine. That's really good. Um, it just makes all your spawn cards better. Uh, and that that's that's really good. Um, do note, it is an artifact. So your opponent can remove it. Um, yeah, we'll see. I, I don't know how many, uh, how popular artifacts are going to be next patch or expansion. Uh, if Summoning Circle doesn't get nerfed, it'll still see play. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't know if people start teching an artifact removal because this card is so good and it just buffs everything on the board and it's crazy. I, I have no idea. Um, if everybody is running artifact removal, then yeah, this card's not very good anymore, is it? Right? So, uh, time will tell. But outside of a gimpy and like heavy artifact removal meta, this card's really, really good. Um, just plus one on basically everything you play. Uh, because most, well, not everything you play, everything you spawn, which if you're playing a storm deck, you're probably playing cards that, well, spawn things. Uh, and our last card for today, uh, th this is a very exciting card because it's, it's a big card. It's a legendary for, uh, Syndicate and Northern Realms. It is a dual card, 10 provision, six strength. Uh, whenever you play a unit adjacent to this card, give it shield. So you play this card, you play an engine, it gets a shield. You play another card next to it, shield, right? Lots of shields. First thing that comes to mind, King Rogner, right? King Rogner uh, destroys all the shields on all the units on the board and boosts itself by, I believe, is it two per shield or three per shield? I've played the card like three times. I actually don't remember if it's two or three. Um, either way, uh, this card's very good in a King Rogner list because it allows you to make lots and lots and lots of shields. Um, is it good outside of a King Rogner list? Well... From my experience, when your opponent plays queen and puts it on, let's say, an arbalist, um, that arbalist almost always stays alive the rest of the game, uh, unless you're locking it. But, I mean, if you're locking that, it means you're not locking the next arbalist. Um, and in terms of killing it, let's say you have an afrit in your hand, you're not going to ping it with something else and then afrit it. You're just going to afrit the next arbalist that comes onto the board that doesn't have a shield uh the only scenario where you can cleanly take out like an arbalist that has a shield on it is wily outside of exactly wily uh okay i and spheres i guess spheres is another card but that's not really a neutral um it's really hard to kill engines with shields shields are a pain in the butt unless you're playing crack uh and i guess ethne you're not really gonna be able to ping off those shields and start killing units unless of course you have an engine on the board like pavco or like longship um shields are pretty hard to deal with if your opponent has a lot of them and if this card hits the board and you don't kill it every unit has a shield from then on yeah, they're row stacking, so you could play row stacking punish effects like Lacerate, except <laughs> Lacerate doesn't do anything if all their cards have shields on them. So yeah, this card is in it's a threat, and if you don't kill it, you lose. Um, that's kind of scary, the fact that you just lose a game if you don't kill this card. Um, what does that mean? Well, in Ethne and Croc, you're going to be running Muzzle in every deck because of the new uh, Resilience 
Syndicate card, Gabor, this card, the new SK, uh, Sucros, I believe it's called, or Sucros. So, yeah, these engines are must answers. You have to answer. Maybe, maybe everyone starts running Dory Gary because you just, you need that lock. But then again, if people start doing that, if enough locks are being run, maybe you play, uh, uh, Kudak, I think it's called. Six provisions, four strength, uh, purify left and right unit. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting. We'll, we'll see. Um, six damage outside of, like, a ping plus muzzle is actually pretty hard to deal with. Um, most cards, I mean, the, the most basic ones do, like, four damage removal. So four doesn't really cut it. You could do four plus another removal card. Uh, but then you give your opponent a turn to, like, I don't know, give it a shield or boost it or heal it or uh, some, some whatever. Um... I mean, you, you could play Kalanthi into this and then give it the... Uh, I'm going to blank on the card. The card that gives shield and uh, six boost. You could play that on it. Uh, and then, unless they have tall removal, that card's never getting removed, ever. Um, I think this card will see play. And, right, once again, if you're playing Northern Realms, you're playing lots of engines. So, let's say they do expend a lot of removal or a lock onto this. Well, it means your other engine probably are more likely to survive, and that's always a good thing in Northern Realms. Um, think of Hensel. If you play this on turn one, and your opponent doesn't, uh, so turn one in round three, and your opponent doesn't remove it, and you play an Arbalist to the left and the, to the right of this unit, that's game. Like, if you've played Hensel before in a long round three, if you play two Arbalists, and they get left unchecked for the entire game, you win. Uh, and that's if they have shield, they're not going to get checked. So, yeah, this <laughs> this card could just straight up win you the game. Uh, if your opponent either doesn't respect it or just ignores it or doesn't have a removal. Um, another card, so locks we mentioned. But in terms of outright killing it, right? Because if you lock it, your opponent can purify and uh, unlock it. Um, so Professional. Geralt Professional can kill this card because it is a six. So... Yeah, I mean, Sucrus is a six. This is a six. Maybe you start running professional because this card is just so scary. Um, I I don't see why not. Uh, granted, there would have to be a lot of these two cards in uh, the, the meta, but if it happens, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, I, I see no reason not to. Um, maybe you start running locks. How else do you kill this card? Uh, muzzle we mentioned uh you can kill it with two cards like a frit plus two source of damage i don't know it's gonna be annoying to kill um Sucrus, the the sk version of this card which makes the card to the left immune uh I, for that one you can move it right so like if you move it to the if it's on the melee and you move it to the range row uh the engine setup on the melee row no longer will happen uh this card if you move it your opponent really doesn't care right because they just keep playing units next to it i don't know I, i'm really excited about this card um is it enough to push nr into like tier one viability um i i <laughs> i have no idea um i every time we think something happens with nr either a, a new cards a buff this or that uh, like nr never seems to be on top will this card push it there <laughs> i honestly have no idea um We'll see. It's going to, the meta, I mean, first couple of days is going to be like everybody playing Syndicate because everyone's going to want to play the new faction. The Syndicate beat NR. Um, I mean, if you're playing Swarm, you're probably not playing a lot of removal, which means NR is going to smash you. Um, I don't know. I don't know how much removal is going to be in Syndicate on day one, two, three. We'll see um so yeah i it's really hard to evaluate how good this card is uh, i i know that if it's left unchecked you just win uh it's pretty straightforward uh and typically keeping all your engines alive for the entire game means you're winning is northern realms right typically the only way you're losing with northern realms is because your engines die so if your engines don't die you win um i could see <laughs> okay now, now we're starting to push it you could there's cheese decks uh in game where like you play Avalok in round two after your opponent passes, and then you Adrenaline Rush it into round three, uh, and then you could Adrenaline Rush this card, uh, and then your opponent would not have a chance to answer it, and then every card you do play has a shield forever, just forever, and there's nothing your opponent can do about it, uh, unless they, like, Uma into King Ragnar or some crazy nonsense. Um, 
I don't know. Maybe people start playing Avalok. I mean, you could play this Avalok, like Visigoda. Uh, Avalok Visigoda is really, really, really strong. Um, I, yeah, you're going to see some crazy things. This, this card's going to make you tremble. Uh, <laughs> It's a really good card. Uh, yeah. So let me know what you guys think about these cards, uh, specifically this card and this card, which are probably the two coolest cards of these six. Uh, let me know your opinions on it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys on the next one.